All right, we're going to be going through all the test functions of the Fluke 362 clamp meter. You'll notice it has these smaller clamping jaws, good for getting into tighter areas. It's rated for Cat 3 600 volts and reading up to 200 amps. All right, we're basically going to go through the wheel starting in the off position. I'll go ahead and prop up this meter just so you can see the readout a bit better without all the glare. All right, let's go ahead and start with the volts AC setting. Nice little feature. It's telling you volts AC. It's also telling you has that little lightning bolt indicating that this is a live circuit in case you weren't sure. Volts DC 12.0. Notice the resolution on the meter is only a tenth. Next we have our ohms and continuity readout. So continuity is obviously just going to be our audible tone and you can see our little speaker symbol indicating. Let's go ahead and take some measurements of resistors. First up, got this little guy right here. It's a 10 ohm resistor. So one thing that can be a little annoying is that your continuity and your resistance reading settings are one and the same. So you don't have a way to turn off that audible tone when measuring resistance. Again, the resolution of our meter is only showing to the nearest tenth. Also got a kiliohm resistor. Let's give that a try, see what it says. This is a 47 kiliohm resistor and it's of too much resistance for the meter to read. So something to keep in mind is that it looks like the resolution of this meter, I believe is probably only gonna be up to like 999. All right, here I have a 470 ohm resistor. Let's see if the resolution is good enough to pick that up. I haven't read through the technical specifications of this meter. So it'll read up to just under a thousand ohms of resistance, which I think should be plenty. Next, let's go ahead and talk about the amp clamp function of the meter. You're not to be measuring amps with your leads. As indicated down here, your leads are only for voltage and resistance. Let's go over how to re measure your amperage and some of the disadvantages of a meter like this. A meter like this is gonna wanna read really, you're gonna have a hard time getting clarity. Anything like under 500 milliamps and under, you're not gonna have the resolution in an amp clamp style regardless regardless of what amp clamp style you have. For that, you would really want, you know, a meter with a way to measure in series with these amp clamps. Let's go ahead and look at DC current draw. Okay, it's showing about two and a half amps here on the meter, but I know that's not 100% accurate. We need to make sure we zero out our amp clamp before we take a reading. Okay, now it's at two amps. I know that that's accurate. Something with the DC amp clamp, you're gonna notice too, it will have polarity annotated on there for you. So it'll have that negative sign. So if I did the common side of my DC circuit, depending on the way that I fed my conductor through, amp clamp it'll have a polarity indication for reading an ac load swap that over let's get some ac power going this bulb will draw about 200 milliamps at 120 volts ac okay and the resolution of this is just barely gonna be able to pick it up, if at all. Okay, we can see 200 milliamps of current being drawn, but I mean a tenth of an amp. Let's try to zero that out, try the other side. Very small amplitudes this meter isn't gonna be good for. It's not gonna be really super accurate. I think it'll get you within a few tenths, and that should be close enough for a lot of applications. I just wanna go over a rookie mistake that I see that can happen when utilizing amp clamp. If you're going over both your hot and your neutral, or your positive and negative, you're not not going to get anything for a reading. So that's something to make sure that you take in consideration. You know, you can't just clamp this around an extension cord and expect to get an amperage draw. You have to do an individual conductor to get a good reading. So that's the Fluke 362. Be sure to let me know if you have any questions about any of the tests or anything on here and I'll catch you on the next one.